So now um, for my uh, presentation. Uh, my name is Michael van den Berg. I'm a technical art uh, student here at the Buas as well. And uh, today I'll be talking to you about um, improving uh, procedural workflows in Unreal and Houdini uh, through the use of a custom editor mode plugin uh, that I developed for Unreal. Um, so imagine uh, for a moment you're making an environment and this environment contains uh, some man-made elements. Uh, let's make it for this example, let's make it a road. Uh, and you want to make this road uh, procedurally, and you decide to make a road tool. Uh, so you set up your HDA, uh, you set up your blueprints, and you uh, place your splines in the scene. And at some point during the development, you're probably going to be wanting to add some form of intersection. And with the uh, spline tools that Unreal ships with, uh, you realize that this is not so elegant. Um, so it will either entail some time and careful placement by hand uh, of the assets in the scene, uh, or you compromise your creative vision a little bit, uh, and you decide to uh, make something that's uh, a little bit more suited to the tools that you have at your disposal. Uh, this is not ideal, and it prompted me to develop uh, this plugin. So what exactly uh, have I made? Uh, what I've made is an, uh, a plugin for Unreal that's a custom editor mode uh, that allows for the creation of points uh, with connections to multiple other points. Uh, so not just the, the, the previous one and the next one, but uh, really an unlimited amount of points. And using the export functionality of my tool, the data can be converted to a JSON format and be imported into an external package uh, like Houdini, for instance. So an example of this workflow. Uh, say you're making an open world game and you want to create a road network through the forest. Um, my editor mode allows the user to create these line networks uh, in the engine and the export functionality allows um, uh, the plugin to interface uh, with Houdini Engine. Um, and Houdini in this workflow works just like uh, any other HDA, uh, except at the start of the procedure it checks for the JSON file that contains the line data that I exported from Unreal. Uh, I wrote an interpreter in Houdini uh, that then converts this line data into uh, polylines that Houdini can understand uh, and creates roads from them as well. In this example, um, Houdini Engine is also used to load the landscape uh, that's made in, um, in Unreal. Uh, it uh, uh, deforms the landscape to better fit the roads. It uh, places guardrails uh, and lampposts uh, and places foliage where appropriate. So um, using this um, plugin, how can we extend this functionality even further? Uh, the most notable features that I have planned uh, is support for custom attributes. Uh, so for instance, um, a float variable, so you can tweak uh, the rust on uh, a pipe, for instance. Uh, or string variables, so you can um, control what type of road or um, street gets uh, placed along uh, the line. I'd also like uh, automatic exporting for um, uh, automatic exporting of the JSON data to allow for quicker visualization uh, and iteration. Uh, for, because at the moment, um, to export the data to Houdini or any other package, it uh, entails uh, several keystrokes. And I want to expose the data to Blueprint, um, so native tool development in Unreal becomes an option. So some takeaways from this. Um, in my opinion, creating solutions as a technical artist is about more than creating good algorithms. Um, we're supposed to be making people's lives easier, and that entails improving user experience. And using C++ and custom editor modes in Unreal, we can achieve this goal uh, and extend the functionality of the uh, editor to um, create better uh, user experience for our tools. And lastly, um, JSON is a great way of communicating data between programs, uh, and it will allow you to play to the strengths of each program. All right, uh, that was the end of my presentation. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, my name is Michael van der Berg, and I'll be available for an internship um, in September.